Developments out of South El Paso University Medical Center giving Children's Hospital until today to take the help or fend for itself in bankruptcy court. ABC 7's Darren Hunt continues our complete coverage live at UMC. Rick and Estella, the meeting behind these closed doors went immediately into executive session, meaning, of course, that we were immediately asked to leave this room. The doors did not reopen for about two hours, and during that two hours, we are told children's latest response to terms to save the hospital were discussed at length by the UMC board. Now, during the meeting, I contacted children's officials to ask about the terms of the latest offer. However, a children's spokesperson would only tell me that they are quote, continuing conversations with UMC. When the board meeting concluded about an hour ago, we spoke with County Judge Veronica Escobar about the feeling in the room as these latest discussions were going on today, since the clock is clearly ticking away at this point for El Paso Children's Hospital. Does it sound promising at this point? You know, we have to stay optimistic. So, we're, you know, we're going to hope for the best. We're going to, it's moving in the right direction. That's for sure. What's different about this offer? I can't discuss the details. Um, they are confidential. Now, Judge Escobar went on to say that the only purpose of today's UMC board meeting was to review children's counterproposal today. But again, that hard deadline for an agreement remains 5 p.m. Wednesday, largely because the county commissioners are scheduled to meet with UMC on Thursday to finalize the UMC budget. Rick and Estelle. Darren, thank you very much. Developing now, a 21-year-old man suspected of burning.